Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us in the AR for Marketing and Brands session. Our first speaker is Vit. <laughs> Vit. Vit Goncharuk. Um, CEO at Augmented Pixels. Hi all, it's uh, very nice to see much more people since last year, so it looks like augmented reality and growing up. Um, I'm founder of Augmented Pixels. My company provides solution for uh, furniture companies, home appliance, event marketing, etc. And in my presentation, I will try to uh, talk about uh, some limitation of augmented reality and, and how to increase return of investment in, in, uh, in retail from our own experience. So it's from, from experience where we lose and where we earn it money. So uh, I think last year we, say, we said uh, seven or eight times to our clients no when they asked us to create something with augmented reality. It's strange, but for augmented reality to hear this from augmented reality company, but uh, and and we offer for this for this our clients uh, some different solutions without augmented reality. Uh, we analyze all these cases, and uh, I will first I will talk about limitation. After that, I will try to talk how, how to improve augmented reality. So we, we know, and I, I can prove this. This is la last message what I sent to one of our clients when we said no. So I know like seven, like five most known limitations for, for my company, from my experience. First limitation is age. So there are a lot of companies with uh, toys, uh, with real games, and they asking us to create some kind of toys to promote this, this, this real products. But uh, from our practice, uh, if uh, uh, iPad or, uh, or Android tablets too heavy for kids from two to four ages. So better to avoid this auditory when you're creating some games, for example, uh, to, in augmented reality to promote. Because kids cannot hold device uh, like three or five minutes. It's, again, it's too heavy for kids. Uh, second, it's uh, seniors. Uh, augmented reality solutions have uh, a lot of details in, in interfaces, very small interface, small details. And for seniors with problems of vision, it's more, it's hard to, to recognize these details in user interface. Uh, that is why if your target auditory is seniors, then better to use uh, just uh, image uh, recognition, but not augmented reality, so not tracking, because for them it's hard to explain how to use it. Uh, Third problem, it's most common problem for augmented reality, it's, it's, it's what your customers should print the marker. So no one uh, don't want to print the market and use their head print the market because usually uh, uh, customers download an application in some public places and they have no access to printers. So if your business process uh, uh, do not have some opportunity to deliver print already printed markers to the clients like catalogs, like uh, posters, then better to avoid such solutions when you cannot deliver some uh, pre-printed uh, markers. Uh, from our case, we had we had created a game that was featured by Apple, this new is newsworthy, and we have like close to one million downloads, but uh, I think half of auditory even not printed markers. So this game, and we lose a lot of traffic because because again, most of all hate print markers. Uh, limitation number four, it's lighting conditions. Uh, for example, uh, we had very bright ideas to create some good event marketing games for cinemas. But cinemas have very dark uh, atmosphere, so it's, it's lack of light. And uh, with any augmented reality, it's not possible to create some, some stable solution for movie sitters. So better, so you should be very careful about lighting condition because you usually are dealing with real world. Number five, uh, it's complexity of product what you want to promote. Uh, from my experience, you should deal with uh, very simple products because so if a chair, so chair, it's more easy to create some good user experience for chairs, for sofas, for some very simple products. And it's very hard to promote in augmented reality some, some complex products like cars, because for this you should create more complex interface and, but I'll be know what you should be, uh, you should uh, keep it simple. Uh, it's all, it's five limitations what we're using uh, 
uh, in, in, on our practice and we, know, we, we deal with this limitation. Now let's talk how to, how augmented reality could increase ret return on its method. So we started from some negative part and let's talk about positive. Uh, uh, in any case, uh, augmented reality solutions uh, should solve some addition, should solve some issues or should have some additional value for customers. So we, again, it should solve some problems, not just show something and nothing. Only in this case, you can increase return of investments. In other cases, it will be zero. And uh, number two, it's important for augmented reality solutions, what it should have some click to action. So we saw a lot of demonstration where, where you see just the object and, and, and not, nothing after, but uh, you should provide to customers some feature what he should click and, and to buy, for example. Only in this case, you can generate leads. Successful cases from, from our practice. I know now, uh, I think only two types of application what successful in augmented reality and have, have positive return of investments. First type, it's a sales tool for furniture and home appliance. It's because these solutions uh, solve real problems. First problem would solve such solutions, it's lack of customer imagination. So I cannot, for example, imagine how some furniture looks in my end interior. And this solution solves this. Second, uh, such solutions decrease uh, cost of returns for companies. That is why a lot of furniture companies are trying to integrate such solutions for furniture and home appliance. And sure, such solutions are very easy to use. So you can use uh, magazine or catalog to, as a marker, so no need to print the marker. And number four, such solutions have click to action. So you can see what, what, you, what some furniture and you can buy it. Another type of successful solutions, it's augmented reality games, but very simple. So most of all popular AR games uh, are simple, so they have very easy interface. Uh, and uh, most of all games have some motivation to play. So any games, if you want to create some popular game, you should, you should in this game should have some motivation to play. Uh, best motivation to play to give a free reward or some, some, some kind of real price. For example, we created a solution with, with a real price. If you want in a game, you will get a free popcorn. And, with, and a lot of users was very interested in, to play in such games. Uh, and AR games are popular because uh, no need to print any markers. So for, in retail, in the supermarkets, you can, you can play in, in augmented reality game uh, with a package. So you don't need to print a marker. You can use package as a marker. Summary, so to achieve high ROI in retail, AR solutions should solve, first solve real issues or reward uh, customers, have a very simple user interface. So if you have a complex interface, it's not possible to understand how to play it, disappoint users. And number three, it's uh, solution should have some click to action to, to generate some leads. That's all, thank you for attention and ready for questions. God, someone tried to tell the truth. That's awesome. Um, over the next two or three years, there's some new technology coming. You're going to have 3D mapping and better ways to place objects without markers. What are you excited about in the next, say, one to three years that you think is going to make it easier to create compelling solutions? Sure, uh, we're expecting to. To, to have some more advanced uh, SLAM technology, so known yeah, in 3D mapping. Now this technology uh, on early stage, so they're not stable, so, but, but I see some good perspective because you should not educate your customers to how to use this in this application. Uh, if you're talking about next three years, I think virtual reality, very interesting, very interesting field. So it's, it has less, uh, less problems with usability, less problems with uh, with um, user experience than augmented reality. Augmented reality still have some limitations. So you should print the marker, etc. But again, in some, in some spheres like furniture, like games, augmented reality is popular too. So, but again, virtual reality is a very interesting field too. Thank you. Is there another question over here? 
really interesting example about the furniture augmented reality app. And I'm wondering in the use case of someone who's ordering some custom furniture, you know, using the app, um, at what point do they become stuck? And then have you, you know, linked them through say a, a text to chat or call or something with the customer service? Or is there like a breaking point or have you not seen that? Um, my company have a platform for furniture and home appliance and we have integration with, uh, with API of uh, furniture, <coughs> well, with uh, furniture companies. So it's possible to integrate uh, this click to action to, to existing, existing API of company. And when you, when you fill your information, for example, as a client, this information will be delivered as lead, lead information to, to the company and company can do callback for you and uh, or uh, another way we can integrate and you, you can fill your visa information so your credit card information and you can buy it exactly in the, in, in the application. So it, it's very easy. It's, it's, we have such solution, it works. Thank you. If there are no farther questions, we need to move things on for time purposes. So next up we have Jim Daly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ben.